Hello and welcome to Let's Talk About It podcast. I am your host, Apostle Rosemary of RCN Ministries and OSGA Apostolic Network, along with my wonderful husband, Apostle Herbie. Today, we're going to talk about on our podcast here on Let's Talk About It podcast, we're going to be dealing with um, starting this month, the month of May, um, which is the fifth month of the year. The number five represents the number of grace. Our month of May series will be the month of wholeness. That is correct. We will be dealing with the month of wholeness here on our May series for our podcast here. This morning, I want to start with scripture. We will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10, and I will be reading from the Amplified Version. Verse 7 says, And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in my flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said to me, verse 9, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10 says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. We need to understand, people of God, that when you are going to a season, through a season in your life, when there is much that is coming against you, when you're having to go through and you don't understand why his grace is sufficient for you. The first part of this series this week, the name and the title, the topic of this will be you're coming out. That is correct. You're coming out. You're coming out whole. You're coming out with nothing missing, nothing lacking and nothing broken. God is restoring. He's bringing restoration to every dead thing in your life. He's resurrecting every dead thing in your life. Oh my God. The Lord is doing a new thing in you so that he can pull forth from you that new thing as fresh oil. My God, you're coming out. The thorn in your flesh was intentional. It was placed there by God. Never question why. Lord, why am I having to go through? Lord, why am I having to endure? Lord, why do I have to have to have so much pain? Lord, why, why? Stop asking God why and just know that his grace is sufficient for you. The Lord will never put more on you than you can bear. He knows exactly what you can handle. He knows the timing and he knows the season. Why? Because he knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb, according to Jeremiah 1 and 5. Let us not question God, but let us tell God, God, give me the grace to be able to endure and to endure well in my due season that I faint not, but that I stand under pressure. Father, that I'm able to endure in the seasons that I have to walk through my purpose, ah, my process to get to my purpose, my God. That I have to walk through the process to get to my purpose, my God. Ah, the thorn in your flesh was intentional from God. This very thorn in your flesh, it was never put there to kill you. It was placed there to keep you humble. Ah, because see, just like Apostle Paul, if God had not kept him humble, he would have thought that it was him. He would have got arrogant. He would have got puffed up. Ah, he would have gotten beside himself. And he would have felt as though he did it and not God. And the word of God lets us know for no man shall have God's glory, but it belongs to God and God alone. So I've come here to tell you this morning that you're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming all the way out. Uh, nothing's going to be left behind. And when you come all the way out, 
Everything around you, everything about you is going to be restored for the kingdom, for his purpose, for his plan for you. My God, you're coming out. You're coming all the way out. Nothing's going to be left behind in this new season. Uh, you're not going to stay in the same place. This is the time you're coming all the way out. You will no longer allow the enemy to delay nor hinder your advancing or advancement in the kingdom for the kingdom of God. I know you've had to endure much in your past season, but this is your last season. This is your last season of turmoil. This is your last season of lack. This is your last season of sickness. This is your last season of loss. I hear God saying that you're coming out, but you're coming all the way out in this season. Ah, uh, Nothing's going to be behind you. For God says everything is lying ahead of you. It is what's coming in your future. It is the purpose that you're walking out into. Uh, you walked out of the past season in order to shift and to walk over into this new season. Uh, when I look at the Bible, I would think about uh, Moses and Moses when he had Joshua and Moses had sinned by striking the rock with the rod instead of touching the rock to bring forth the water for the people because Moses was aggravated. But then the Lord took him up to the mountain and he allowed him to look over and to see the promised land. But he let him know that you, Moses, will not enter into the promise. My God, because of what he had done, he was disobedient and he had sinned against God. And the Lord let him know, but Joshua is going to take the people. He's going to be the one that is your successor. He's going to pick up the mantle and he's going to carry on to walk throughout this season into the new season that I has purpose and plan for his life. And the Lord let Joshua know that Joshua, you will be the one that's going to take my people in. In Joshua 1, it tells us that the Lord had to speak to Joshua and to tell him that Moses, my servant, is dead. Get up, you and all of my people, and cross over this Jordan, my God. See, in this season, we need to understand something. God is saying to you, there's some dead relationships. There's some dead connections. You've been in some dead places. You've been connected to dead folks. But God says in this season, you're going to have to leave the dead Moseses behind in your path. Uh, because in order for you to walk into your purpose, Joshua, my son and my daughter, you've got to leave your things behind that once delayed and hindered you. The Lord is saying, get ready to walk it out. Get ready to walk into your purpose. Get ready to walk into the place and the plan that I have for you, said the Lord thy God, according to my word. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, my God, you're walking out of and into a new season in your life. Everything you endured was just a prerequisite of you walking into your purpose in God. Many of you have suffered greatly and you at times may felt all alone, but I've come to tell you today and to serve notice on the enemy, uh, on the devil, on Beelzebub, that the Lord has not forsaken you. The Lord has not forgotten you. The Lord has not forgotten the word that he spoke out over your life. The Lord has not forgotten the purpose and the plan and the direction that he has for you. The Lord has not forgotten your destiny. My God, you're coming out and you're coming all the way out. My God, everyone that's been dealing with afflictions, I've come to tell you that you're coming out. The Lord is giving you back your peace for your pain, my God, your provision for the lack, your health for the infirmities, your marriage for your family, and the attacks that you had to endure. Ah, uh, all of the division in your family, all of the attacks and the chaos in your family. God says, I'm giving it back. The Lord says, I'm giving you back your heart for the rejection and the brokenness. Your strength for the times of weakness. 
your right mind for the mind battles. And I just heard the Holy Spirit tell me to deal with this a little bit more. When the Lord told me, he said, tell them, I'm giving you back your marriage. I'm restoring your marriage. But the Lord says, go back my daughter and tell the people, I'm only restoring the marriages that I put together, not something that they connected with because of their flesh or their desire or their need to have a man or to have a mate or to have a wife. The Lord says, I am restoring marriages that were ordained by me and me alone. So if the marriage was ordained by God, God said he's giving it back. God says, and you will know that he is speaking to you, man of God or woman of God. Why? Because he says, when I send you a mate, I'm going to send you an eagle-like spirit. I'm going to send you someone that is equally yoked. I'm not going to send you someone that you've got to try to lay a foundation. You've got to try to go and get the blocks and someone else is building on it. God says, when I send you a mate, when I send you your spouse, when I send you a husband or a wife, they are going to be equally yoked. So if you have yoked yourself to someone in the past that was not equally yoked, if you are Christian and they weren't a Christian, if you knew God and they didn't know God, if you were walking in unity, oneness and obedience and they were walking in rebellion, the Lord told me serve notice and let you know that he did not send them, but you chose them in your flesh. We're going to look at Joel chapter 2 and 24 and Joel chapter 2 and 26. And it says, the threshing floor shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Listen, there will be no lack in this new season. When you're coming out and you're coming all the way out, said the Lord thy God, you're going to have more than enough. You're going to have more than enough provision. Uh, God says, I'm giving you the fresh wine and the new oil. Uh, the Lord says, you will have plenty and you shall be satisfied. For the lost years, God said, he's given it back and you're coming out. The lost years are the fruitful years. God says, I'm giving it back and you're coming out. The lost years are the painful years. God says, I'm giving it back and you're coming out. The lost years are the selfish years. God says you're getting it all back and you're coming out. The lost years are the loveless years. God says you're getting it back and you're coming out. The lost years are the rebellious years. God says you're getting it all and you're coming back. The lost years are the Christless years. God says you're getting it all and you're coming out. Huh. We look at Joel chapter two, verse 25 to 27 in our close. And it says, and I will recompense you for the years. This is the amplified translation. And I will recompense you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the creeping locust, the stripping locust, and the gnawing locust, my great army, which I sent among you. Catch that now. Verse 26, 26 says, you will have plenty to eat and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God, who has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. 27 says, and you shall know without any doubt that I am in the midst of Israel to protect and bless you and that I am the Lord, your God, and there is no other my people will never be put to shame. Listen to me. The Lord is causing the swarming locusts, everything that he had eaten, the creeping locusts, huh? the stripping locusts, and the gnawing locusts. Everything that the locusts ate up, God says, I'm causing him to vomit it back up 100 fold. You're not going to lose anything, but you're getting ready to gain. You're get, getting ready to gain new ground. You're getting ready to gain new territory. You're getting ready to gain new regions, ah, new nations. My God, you're getting ready to gain in every area of your life. My God. Apostle Herbie and I pray that this message has blessed you this morning on our podcast here on Let's Talk About It podcast. And remember that the month of May, our series for this month is the month of wholeness. God has made you hold again. 
this message, you're coming out next week and the next for the rest of the month. I'm going to give you the topics on May the 11th. The topic will be this is your new season on May the 18th. The topic will be walk in your new season. And on May the 25th, the topic will be you made it. May God bless you and may God keep you until next Wednesday. We love you. Take care this morning and have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. God bless you.